wanted to do a video on Ecclesia from the Theological Dictionary of the New Testament by Gerard Kittle. And um, what he says in here is very interesting. So I'm just going to start up and kind of um, pick up. It's on page 505 of the volume 3. So um, page 505 in volume 3, he says um, in the second paragraph, it says... This leaves us with very little option but the simple rendering, assembly, or gathering. On this basis, we can then differentiate between secular and ecclesiastical assemblies, even though we use the same term. And then I'm going to skip forward and it says, For the assembly of God's people, however size, is of no account. It is in being when God gathers his own. Jesus is the one calling, obviously, right? <laughs> I put that over to the, this side. How many there are depends first on the one who calls and gathers it, talking about God, and only then on those who answer the call and gather together. Where two or three are gathered together in my name, there am I in the midst of them, Matthew 18 and 20. Then I wanted to read here in the note. I, I kind of disagree with something in the note, so I'd like to read it so you can see what it's talking about. This does not mean that we should banish the words church and congregation from our vocabulary apart from the impossibility of such an undertaking there would be no sense in forming forfeiting the wealth of meaning proper to these terms i disagree with that i think we should abandon the word church 100 percent because of where the church comes from and i made some videos on um circe and um what what that kind of entails so you can watch that video if you'd like and it says, um, what is needed is that we should grasp the precise significance of the word ecclesia, since at this point, linguistic sobriety will help us to the true meaning and bearing from the standpoint of biblical theology. So, I wanted to share that with you. Um, I, I like what he said because um, at, there at the end about um, linguistic sobriety, and as Christians, we really should try to learn how to say things appropriately with their intended meanings. For example, like what you should never say as being a Christian is like go to church. You can't go to something that you are. So, um, and when the Bible says like a church in uh, somebody's house, um, that doesn't mean a church building in somebody's house. If you drive down the road and you say, hey, what's that building over there? They'll say, that's a church building, you know? So, um, our bodies are the temples of the Holy Ghost and we make up the members and where the body is there is the head and where the head is there is the body. The body can't be without the head. The head can't be without the body. So um, I just thought that y'all might find that particular entry in Theological Dictionary of the New Testament on Ecclesia, page 505 in volume 3. Interesting. So I hope y'all enjoyed that. Alright. Y'all have a good one. Bye.